Did I get it? Oh, I'm recording. So, saints, this is Sister with a Testimony. And um, this is a beautiful pink dogwood branch. And um, we actually, it got plucked off the, the vine about an hour ago. And look at how it's wilting and dying already. Now, I don't know about y'all, but if you think about this, and this, this is a beautiful branch. Um, I didn't pluck it off just so y'all know, okay, because I wouldn't do that. Uh, but it was was on the ground, and I picked it up off the ground. It was discarded, and it was so beautiful when I picked it up, and and the the little flowers were just open and happy and full of life. And I had left it in the truck, and it's cold out today, so there's no reason it would have wilted like this. In an hour, I went in to eat something, and came back out, and it's wilted. It's dying that quickly. And think about it. I am the vine, you are the branches. Without me, you can do nothing. Within one hour, this beautiful, amazing branch is dying that quickly. Look at look at the little flowers. They're just, oh my gosh, they're totally like, isn't that crazy? Cut off from the living root. They, yeah. Cut off from the living root vine yeah okay wow i don't know about y'all but that's prophetic yeah if you get cut off from the vine jesus is the vine he said it i am the vine you are the branches without me you can do nothing you have no life you have no sustenance and this beautiful amazing branch and the flowers the beautiful flowers are dying and dead just that quickly and you know what without the sustenance that's how quickly they die I don't know about y'all but if you look like this in the spirit ask the Lord to refresh you to revive you to restore you and graft you back in ah mm. that's good sister Bridget she said and graft you back in because he said guess what we're all we're grafted in. We're grafted into the the main branch. Uh, Y'all don't want to look like this. You know, you you really don't. Come on, get that, saints. It was snapped off. It was just laying on the ground. It was gonna die anyhow. But I didn't think it was gonna die that fast, man. I was gonna take it home, put it in some water, and see if it would, you know, you know, last a day or two. I had no idea it was gonna die that quick. So listen. Don't die quickly. Don't die at all. Come to Jesus. Repent. Have some godly sorrow up in you. He is just and faithful to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And you won't have to look like these droopy little dying flowers. Wow. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. I'll cleanse you completely restore you and make you a new a new creature y'all need some Jesus we all need Jesus but some of us need him more than others I'll go ahead and claim that I need you more every day Lord praise the Lord anybody with me how about Amen. you sister Amen. what do you think about that You seen, are you my witness I'm a witness an hour ago wasn't this just like beautiful yeah it was. And and within an hour it's just wow. So anyhow, y'all, don't uh, don't die without Jesus. He's not willing for none to perish. He's willing for each of us to come and be completely saved, set free, delivered, healed, restored. Amen. In Jesus name. I just pray for y'all today. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you to hide, protect and keep you. I ask God to just shine upon you, that he would lift up his countenance unto you, that because you know him, because you love him, because you've called out his name, you don't have to worry about wilting and dying, saints. You don't have to worry about being cut off like this branch. Actually, you shouldn't have any worries because worry is just the opposite of faith. Yep. Hmm. Faith without works is dead. Faith, faith, faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you. Sister with a testimony. 
and the other sister with the testimony. Yeah. God bless you. Later. <laughs>